Welcome to this lecture. I said that we are going to have a look at memberships. So let's use Video School as an example. Let me click on Video School. So as you can see, this is the sales page of Video School. This is a school by uh, Phil Ebener. He's a very successful instructor on Udemy. And um, it's always a good thing to promote your courses on different schools. So if you are creating a teachable academy, you could also uh, have YouTube videos or a Udemy um, profile or anything else, maybe Skillshare, because the more you promote your course and your academy, the better. So let's have a look at his membership. As you can see here, he has single courses that he's offering, but here the um, image it's clearly saying video school membership. The title is saying the same. Get unlimited access to all our current and future courses and then 124 course bundle for free. This looks very promising. So let me click. This is the sales page for the membership. I think it's very pretty. He has his um, brand colors, this beautiful blue and you can watch a promo video or you can enroll in the course immediately. So two call to actions on the top. Then he added a video. So if you do a membership or add offer some sort of model, keep that in mind. That it's always a good idea to uh, present yourself to your future students and create the no like and trust factor here. Now we have information. On the side, you could add your social media icons. And then immediately we are told, normally it's $12 per month. We can cancel any time. This gives uh, your future students, it just gives them safety. They know that there's no risk. Let's have a look. The video school membership gives you unlimited access to all of our courses, including all of our future courses and course updates. Pay monthly or pay a one-time fee that gives you lifetime access meaning you never have to pay for one of our courses again. So all these features are possible in Teachable. Here he's just explaining uh, the benefits, but down here, that's what we want to see. And of course, this is something you can offer not in the free plan, but in the paid plans. You would have to go to my article where I'm showing you the plans next to each other to see where you can start offering a membership okay so he's offering a one week free trial if you're very confident and you know that it's okay for people to have access to all your content for free then you can choose for one week for two weeks whatever makes you feel uh, confident and a lot of people will stay for longer because a week is over in no time and if you have a lot of courses, then um, they will want to stay longer. Of course, if you only have three courses, it doesn't make sense, in my opinion, to create a membership. Then monthly access. Get all of these amazing courses and future courses for a low monthly price. So free is just to attract them. Then monthly is to keep them. So that way you have recurring um, income. So someone would not just you know, buy your course for $58 and then um, maybe not buy more. But if, well, here it says $14 on top, it says 12. So I'm not really sure if that's a mistake. But normally, of course, you would choose one price. And then maybe someone would, your students would stay with you for six months. And that way, um, over time, you would have, you know, a fixed amount that you can, that, that gives you some, some safety because you always have uh, some income rolling in rather than only having a few sales per month. I hope that makes sense. Then if you have a lot of courses and students love you, they trust you, you already have uh, an established band, um, some will really be willing to pay for yearly access because they make the math and they realize that they're paying less than paying you monthly or even, yeah, buying your individual courses. Then I do not have the numbers. I don't know how many people pay for lifetime access, but just know that with Teachable, all these different styles are 
possible. So that's one amazing example how you can create a membership. Here you see he added some reviews, then instructor information, and then courses included with purchase. So here we know, oh, we want this, we want this, we want all. And that's why we would want to join the membership. And this is a never ending story. You can see he has a lot of courses. He has, yeah, it said before 127 or so. Okay, that was one example. Let's go back to the Teachable accounts. I am pretty sure that a lot of these people are offering a membership. So let's click on the six minute strategist. Let's see if he's offering a membership. Yes, here it says membership, six minute strategist academy membership. And he doesn't have a free option, but I know he had one before. That's how I enrolled. And at the moment he's offering 40 course bundle for this price. Let's just have a look. So here he also has, a, I guess, kind of welcome video. Then why the six minute strategies Academy, he's giving all the juicy details. Then the instructor also has an about me page. Then course curriculum courses included. So you can see that the courses itself, they are high valued. So this one is $299, $99. This is about business. This is about business. So people are inclined to pay more in general. People are willing to pay more in general if a course teaches them how to make money. So here, for example, you can see this one is valued at $499. And I guess because he has so many courses that are above 100, that's why it makes sense to offer the membership for a high, higher price. Yeah, you can see they're all very, very different. So you could do the same. And let's see if he has some courses for free. So this is also nice. You can always search for things. So this one is free online course creation on Udemy free training on official. Okay. So there's one free course. I hope that this lecture gave you an idea how you can use the membership to kind of make it more attractive and easier for students to stay with you for a longer period of time. What you can also do is you can also search for a teachable membership and that way you are sent to their main page. It says how to start a successful membership site on Teachable, 10 tips to start and run a successful membership site on Teachable. So read through this and then you will understand it more in depth, um, how to use the course bundle feature, how you can upsell members to increase the advantage, their average spend. So I think this is also something I like about Teachable that they give you a lot of information in their blog. So make sure to go to teachable.com blog and then click on membership site. So have fun creating your courses. And then once you have enough courses on your academy, remember to add bundles and to create a membership because your students that really enjoy your content, they will ask you for this. They will really want to be part of a membership.